So I'm going to use a paint which is a mixture of Mars orange and vermilion red egg tempera made in the usual way but mixed with placa which is a casing paint that you can use to stick onto gold. So um, I've made this quite runny. Um, I'll show you very quickly the kind of consistency so it's not you know it's it's going to show up when you put it onto gold but it's not going to um, kind of leave a claggy mess here is your um, technical compass with the holder on one side okay can you see it, it doesn't look very um, easy to use but honestly and here is your technical pen. You can see here that there's a space for you to put the paint into and this dial here um, reduces the thickness of the line. So I'm going to tighten that up so that it's almost closed but not completely. But I want a nice fine line so... Okay see how that goes. Now to load the technical pen, take your brush, get enough paint onto it and then what, what I do is I kind of do this to squeeze it into the middle. Can you see, you can see if I put that on top of the paper, there's a little well of paint in there. If this is too far open, your paint's just going to come straight out. Yeah, and, and then you'll make a big, a big chunky line like that. Not very good. Too, too, I mean, if you were doing a big icon, that would be fine. But for a, for your average icon, that's going to be too big. Sorry. So I've loaded it up again. If there's too much paint inside, the same thing will happen and it'll just come out. So I'm going to open it a little bit. Now you can see I've inserted it into the thing here. What I tend to do is put it in as far as the thinnest point of the technical pen so it's not going to move any further. And you can see that the, the kind of legs here are, are held in place. Now that's still a bit wide so I'm gonna close it a bit more. Sorry my hand's in the way. And then what should happen is that you do a nice circle. This thing is to not stop if you can help it. You see how wide that is and how quickly it ran out of paint. If I adjust it properly before I put the paint in. Put the paint in again like before. Not too much. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Try and get a compass which has um, something that's going to hold it instead of the cheaper ones that are just, you know, because when you put pressure on them, as you're going around, you'll find that the legs open, which is not what you want. And because I've made the gap narrower, the paint lasts for longer. Okay, so when you're going around you're obviously going to want to stop so you don't want paint on top of your icon but try not to leave a gap where the head will be. I hope that's helpful Julia and um, I'll, if there's anything else you need to know just send me an email. Thank you.